Rose from Yuko, reporting from CES in Las Vegas. I'm here with Zen and Law, who are local riders in Las Vegas, and we're going to go check out some tech that's related to EUCs. Ready? Let's go, guys. Zen here at our Yuko headquarters, and we're going to be discussing some of the products that we saw at CES that might help with riding an electric unicycle. Make your ride a little bit safer, hopefully. Yeah. So we went to two different helmet booths at CES, and one was called Levol or Livol. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Sorry if I mispronounce it. But they have a wide array of different bike helmets, and they're also coming out with a motorcycle helmet at the end of this year that's going to be apparently the first smart motorcycle helmet. What were your thoughts about these helmets? I think anything that's going to increase the safety for EUC riders is positive. There were some things I liked about it, you know, the, the things I liked about it, the safety, I mean, being able to have a light that displays which direction you're going instead of having to use a hand signal, which may not be easy to see at nighttime, a car is probably not gonna see you making a hand gesture in the middle of the night. But if you have a flashing light that displays your intent or the direction you intend to travel, it could make you a little bit safer at night, especially. I don't think it'd be so useful in the day. I mean, it might be better than nothing. I don't know how visible it would be in high light. We haven't really had the chance to test it, but I don't think it'd be too visible. So nighttime riding, it would be nice. It would be nice to have. Yeah, and then there's also an add-on called Cosmo, which is a French company, and they have this light that you can attach to any safety gear. So Cosmo Connected is a French company specialized in, con in connected devices that are going to bring more uh, safety and visibility to road users. Um, we developed since uh, three years um, connected brake lights that you can fix in any type of helmet either if you're riding bicycles, e-scooter, or even a motorcycle. Our devices such as those ones integrate two technologies. The first one is an accelerometer. Every time that you are going to brake or to lose speed, it's going to get brighter. We also have turn signals inside that you can turn on thanks to a little remote control that you fix directly in the end of the bar. All right, so I want to go left, I want to go right. I just need to press. Okay. okay? Well, for us, we're all uh, UC riders, what would we do to... So basically, you can fix the, the device on your helmet, and you can have it in your hand. You just say, okay, I'm going right, I'm going left. And the last technology inside, it's a gyroscope. And the gyroscope is going to detect if you have an accident, if you fall. And if this is the case, we are going to send you directly to your GPS position, the emergency rescue. And how does it do that? How does it connect? So basically, the device detects the accident. It sends you to your mobile phone a notification asking you if you are okay. If you don't answer after two minutes, we send you directly the emergency rescue. Will that trigger if you like drop your helmet? No, no. No, it takes into account a lot of parameters like the speed, the sudden, mm -hmm. sudden stop, uh, the fact that if you are if you were before in movement, a uh, lot of parameters. And how much does it retail for? Sixty nine dollar. Ah. <laughs> awesome. What Thanks. did you say? Uh, I said 90, but it was, it was closer than what we guessed. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's not 200. Yeah, 69. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Also, You're welcome. France for uh, UC riders. Sorry? Have you seen any UC riders in France? Yeah, 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 a lot. More and more. Yeah. More yeah, because you're based in Paris. We're so, based in Paris, yeah. and uh, since. Legal? Since uh, six months, there is a big community of one wheelers that is coming, so. It's pretty nice. So the last thing that we really, really liked was called a Pix backpack. So these backpacks are... Actually, yeah, let me just show you. So these backpacks are highly visible at night. You can customize your own patterns. It also comes with these widgets, which you can use for doing the same thing that the helmets would do, which is 
navigating left and right, signaling to the people behind you when you're about to turn left, right, or about to stop. One thing I really like about this is that the app is super easy to use. It took me less than an hour to customize this pattern, so it's great for customization, making it whatever you like it to be. It's a great way to express yourself. And yeah, I think it's a pretty good buy. It retails for $259. When Zen and I both saw it, we basically were like, we want it. <laughs> so we went at the end of the show to try to buy it off of them. They had two left, so we were able to right. snatch two. <laughs> right, that's one thing I was excited to buy at CES. I've been testing mine out, super easy to customize. There was some Android issues we had, but they fixed those, they've resolved those. The bike app is pretty good, but once again, you need to have something to press it from your phone. You'll have to press a button to, to signal right or to signal left. Um, I think they're doing a really good job with the bag. It's pretty durable, not something you're gonna take outdoors. In Vegas, we're doing an Area 15 raid and we're trying to do like a cyber punk theme and we think this is perfect for that. We're gonna put like cyberpunk stuff on it, try to dress up, you know, like costumes and whatnot. And this, yeah. this is just like got that cyberpunk feel to it. It looks futuristic. I've already been making content. It's great if you're a content creator uh, and you do some night riding or anything like that, this is the backpack to have because you could customize it. I mean, just being able to put your own logo on it or something like that, it's amazing. It's an amazing backpack. I, we saw some cylinder backpacks that were a higher price than this and I don't think they were as good. So it's a pretty good price point, I feel like. Maybe it'll come down in the future, who knows? But right now, I think it's a good deal. Uh, it, you do need your own battery pack. It doesn't come with that, so you'll have to have your own battery pack. And it lasts quite a while. I haven't had any problems with my backpack. It's definitely a cool, trendy thing to have, especially for UC Rider May keep them safe at night, very visible, as you said. And I'm glad I bought it. Yeah, so in conclusion, PIX was probably the best deal that we saw at CES which is why we're going to start carrying them at yuko.us. If you want to get your own, please come to our website and purchase one. Now, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Tell us of your thoughts. Uh, we would love to hear more about what kind of videos that you want us to make, what kind of videos stand out to you the most, what would be most helpful. Just let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much.